Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back, back to Five Minute Eats. All right, guys, we have a little Eastern European pastry kind of item for you from the former Yugoslavia. Mm -hmm. And what country is it? Bosnia and Herzegovina, which are apparently two separate com countries, but they call themselves uh, a couple, right? Yeah, something like that. They're a, they're a country couple. They're united, and they have this interesting product. And what mm -hmm. is it? This is the Jamie, I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it, classic Cernica burek filled with cheese, filo pastry filled with cheese. So this comes, there's like six of them in this box of them. We picked this up at our local like just grocery store that happens to have a lot of different items in it. And um, a you, grocery store with different items in it. <laughs> well, what a you crazy know. idea. <laughs> well, like, they got American stuff, they got European stuff, they got Spanish and Mexican and Latin American stuff. They got all kinds of things in it. It's funny because it's actually an <laughs> Italian grocery store, but oh, they, is it? yeah, they have, you know, stuff from all over the world. And guys, we came across this one and this has interesting packaging. Yeah. It's not the most, you know, like exciting, Yeah. but it's, you know, dough with cheese in it, which... Oh, what could go wrong, right? Right, exactly. So, whenever I looked at this, though, I thought, whenever I was pulling it out, that it was going to be a loaf. And then, to my surprise, there was these little, like, almost cinnamon roll-looking things. And these things are heavy. They're heavy. So, it's filled with, um, let's see here, cottage cheese, cream... And, um, like, so I guess it's mainly filled with cottage cheese is the actual like cheese in here. And then there's like eggs, cream, wheat, blah, blah, blah. Um, so that's kind of interesting. You bake this in the oven for about 20 minutes and this is what we've got, but I'm going to cut it open for you while you tell them how it works here. So guys, if you're new to our channel, basically we review everyday grocery items. So before you spend your hard earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. Ah, I was, Ooh, look at that. I was really trying to, to sync up with you on that, but I couldn't. That's interesting. Now, it does look like the phyllo is not fully cooked in here, though. It looks a little doughy, even though it was cooked for the right amount of time. So I'm wondering about this, but we're gonna try it. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. Hey guys, welcome back. Our rating system, thumbs up, we'd buy it again. Thumbs down, we would not. So for me, this is a thumbs down. And you know why? Why? This is pretty much a bagel with cream cheese, just um, laid out differently. Mm. That's all this is, man. It's just a bagel with cream cheese. And talk about a very like complicated way, unnecessary because um, when you try to bite into it, because it's like, you know, um, how would you describe it? Just like pieces of cream cheese, like. Mm -hmm. Inserted channels in. of cream cheese. Yeah, so it doesn't work. Or cottage cheese. And is really what it is. This dough is just, um, it's just too much of it, mm. and just doesn't work, man. It's thumbs down. Okay, so for me, it is also a thumbs down. I don't hate it though. I like it, and like you said, it tastes like a bagel with cream cheese. It also tastes like identical to something that I've had before. Like, I used to eat it frequently, whatever it is, it tastes exactly like that. And I just cannot remember what exactly it is that I made that tastes like this, but it tastes good. However, it's like, why go through the hassle? Cause this is like, take it out of the freezer, let it rest for 10 minutes, then put it in the oven for like 20 minutes. It's, it's a lot of work for this. I would rather just toast a bagel. Huge letdown. So guys, to sum it up, thumbs down, thumbs down. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.